Wii Fit come in in full force, but it's not Wii Fit. It's actually a Me Sword Fighter. Mixed. <laughs> so I would, if I were John Ambers, I think this is a much better choice than to go um, like a Wii Fit because Ness does very, very well against Wii Fit, and that's a matchup that Ness, a uh, bigger Chris has a lot of experience in fighting stuff, take with Wii Fit. But Me Sword Fighter could be very, very challenging because Ness, character that plays out of shield, and a lot of what Me Sword Fighter does is like, he's going to condition you to shield with those shock drums, and then Nampolis catches you with the forward arrows out of shield. All right, playing a little bit of baseball, but can he absorb the tornado? He cannot. It is a physical okay. projectile, and it is massive. And so with a character like Ness, I love that maneuver, like the maneuvering coming from PK Chris there. He's like able to effectively circumvent it, and the down smash at ledge, taking out John. Um, John has to be, John has to really, really mix up the angle from which he recovers so that he can try to hit PK Chris with the hitbox of it. Yeah, he definitely controls, all, he'll be able to control a lot more space than Ness at all. A lot more instances thanks to Chakram being able to snipe jumps and the massive tornado that he can just spawn out a whim. Yeah. So, forcing Ness to jump, forcing Ness into the air at his whim instead of Ness's. Instead of PK Chris's, rather. Just enough. Just enough. So, trying to get the up air and catching with that brain trap. And just like PK Chris is just making sure that John won't be able to start anything funny. And I love the fact that like, once again he mixed up the timing on his upbeat to make sure that he won't get too framed by the neutral beat. Like the fact that Me Sword Fighter can do that is absolutely menacing. I'm loving the patience coming out from John. I see he knows that he's a stock down, or I guess he probably knows that he's a stock down, but he's not making sure that he's overextending and putting himself at any more risk for damage or stock. He's just, I'm gonna take the grabs that you give me, and eventually you'll leave yourself open to die because you want to stop getting grabbed. But Chris, with the aggressive getting back on stage, sometimes all you have to do is force your way through, and Ness doesn't, definitely has the ledge, the ledge options to do that. And the double jump cancel magnet is definitely a slept option, but Numbers just ready to make sure, like, you know what, you know, with all the momentum mix-ups that Chris has been doing with the magnet, like, um, Numbers are just ready, like, you know what, just stay there, I'm going to upbear you for it. Um, <laughs> ooh, and converting off of the returning shock room, so menacing. And I love the f how Numbers is low profiling against a lot of Ness's guys and aerials. That grab looked so fast. Wow, that was nuts. A quick dash out to catch these landings. He's, he's seen through it. He can gaze into the future. And you see Chris not getting a hit by a single one of those tornadoes because he knows. Uh, Almost he, got it, but he was off on the spacing just a little bit. And numbers dipping a little of, bit too deep. That's a momentum killer right there, and that really hurts for really hurts for John. Because he, you could see him sniping landings and catching options, and then he gets caught by caught by something that didn't even pull him off the blast zone. It yeah. forced him to watch himself fall. Like that's a mm -hmm. mental damage is a thing. <laughs> oh, that hit him! Oh, no. Good, good yeah. SCI out though. Actually, the S the SCI multiplier on PK fire is just one, so it doesn't really matter. But. Uh, numbers ready, but then. Stuffing out the neutral gallop. Wow. Surprised that still was able to hit him. Chris, oh. of course, running out of the invulnerability that he needs. <gasps> okay. Yeah. And right now, Chris, like, I, I'm noticing that, like, Chris is struggling to get a lot of different things started. Like, he hit him with a lot of. <gasps> Woo! Okay. That was very, Batter. very cool. Batter up. I love the fact that he saved that for the last stock and wasn't doing it earlier. And there we go, that's what I meant by the angle mix-up from John, just ready to hit Ness if he's going through the yo-yo. So really, really great from Chris and Matt, we go. I really like Sword Fighter Fair. Okay, well, poorly timed, but yeah. <laughs> I really do like Sword Fighter's Fair. Okay. He's brawling. He's a brawler. He's got the hood up and everything. Oh, Chris. Um, <laughs> goodness, he's such... He's so good at killer sometimes. Um, John was a little bit upset after getting hit by that up smash. You just saw him, like, go, like, come on. Like, I really got hit by that. Um, yeah, John has no shortage of complaints. Uh, just hear him talk yeah. about Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> right, back into... Right into PS2. Watching no Chris is so entertaining. Both his nuts and both the way that he acts outside of it. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Angel Pod Games, for the for the pits. Yep. But ooh, getting something started with the drag down up air. But I really feel like Chris should be going through a lot more drag down up air up tilts as we saw Libs doing, because drag down up air up tilt can convert into another aerial, just like getting that little extra bit of damage. But regardless, right now it's a pretty even game right now. Um, right now, Numbers is doing a great job of keeping Chris out, 
with those Chakums. Yeah, at least he's, he's landed only a couple tornadoes, and I don't know if it's to the point where he doesn't expect the tornado to hit. He's expecting him to react and avoid it, or yeah. it's a conditioning he's just tool. not. Yeah, or if he's just not ready to get those conversions. Wow. Oh, dash attack. Okay. Okay. I feel like maybe Chris wasn't expecting that, so his DI was a little bit off, but that took out the stock very clean. Chris trying to get the read on the neutral get up with the double jump cancel PK5 on the platform. <gasps> yep. Yeah, to get off and it's going to be hard to land against numbers. Numbers with the lead, the most scary thing, the scariest thing. The grammar. Wow, a lot of these snipes, these chakram snipes are so good. The, thanks to the uh, the angle that you can throw him at, he's making sure to snipe out both mix up between straight and up angle because he knows Ness is going to be floating around in the air. Waiting. And I love the way that Numbers is positioning himself on the platforms so that Chris cannot cross him up with a PK5, but the back throw still taking out the stock. And right now, Chris with like one good PK5, good aerial can hit Numbers, and now we see Numbers actually throwing out the reflector. The unveiled fourth special move, the reflect. That's always fun with the mystery of the Mii Sword Fighter and I guess all of the Mii's. Yeah. It's like, what am I? What do you think that I'm packing? He's already shown off all three, but it could have been, it could have just been a straight counter, yeah. which in and itself is dangerous thanks to the, uh, thanks to how PK uh, Rocket. It's going with down tilts. Ooh, that's gonna trade for right now. Like, you see, like, this is what John does best, and that's, like, just keep people off of him, and every time you try to go in, he hits you with something, and then he really slows down the pace of the match, and Chris is trying to match it, but there we go, and it's, ah, did yeah. he get the tech chase? It doesn't seem like Numbers is respecting that option a lot, because uh, of just PK, uh, PSI Magnet off of ledge, especially since that combo straight into back air, that's, such, that can be such a huge, uh, not back air, back throw. That yeah. can be such a huge momentum swing, but that back air is gonna, is gonna take the stock at 200. So, making the most out of the stock at the very least. Oh, I love the landing down air from John, just calling out on Chris's attempt to knock him up. Okay, one up to, one up to connect, but then and it trades with, the, trades with the nair. I'm curious if, like, the stuck chakra on the side of the stage is similar. Ooh, oh, and Chris missing the dash grab. Ness, of course, having an abysmal. It's so bad in his dash grab, but uh, his pivot grab is definitely not something to sneeze on about. Oh, and now Chris has to find some way to get back onto center stage. I love that double jump. Cancel PK5, but not sweet spawning. John getting knocked by, I believe that was the back air. Yeah. All the way across the stage. And there he was ready for the double jump. Cancel PK5 off of the platform with the reflect. You're dead. You're not, not dead. Yet. I lied, but it's okay. Shout out to Zero. Okay. That was a maybe a tasteless joke, but okay. <laughs> going going back into it, 115 to 29. Like, oh, Numbers is like able to call out a lot of Chris's movement with those chakrams, and Chris is just really, really struggling to get any sort of stage control that he can start anything meaningful. Oh, <gasps> missing that, the believers. That that missed input is gonna go a long way. And right? that I mean, missed input is already just like resulting. Oh my gosh. Catching the jump in the F tilt. That's his jump. <gasps> Going with a down air. Oh, and an air dodge to, in order to get back on stage. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was great. That was amazing. <laughs> that was super good. <laughs> then he was at the perfect angle for it, too. Chris has to be so careful that he doesn't go into a completely horizontal PK Thunder like that. Because if it's reflecting, it's just going to shoot back at you. And you cut in all that lag. Oh, that was amazing. Every time you see a reflected PK Thunder hit, like it's it does 30% first of all when Wait. it reflected. Like oh well I'm lying that's when it's pocketed the so I'm not sure about me sort of fighting reflected. Yeah I don't know I don't know his uh, his counter multiplier I just like how John it's almost like John remembers oh right reflector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, Chris with Chris he was definitely not expecting that at all no, but sticking to PS2. Um, okay Chris is gonna go for the PK Thunder and then if John were to air dodge down into him that would have been the PK Thunder to mix up something that PK Chris is really really well known for. Um, the hitbox on the magnet effectively neutralizing the chakra, trying to set up a tech chase scenario with the PK fire, but John perfectly timing his get up attack to circumvent it. John's really stuck in the corner. All he's doing is like hitting, hitting her down with these down tilts, and we see the sword fighter's nair coming through, uh, which does have a decent combo window. Ah, uh, that was a really great PK fire that could have been spelled the end of the stock, and Chris not ready for the last hit of the upbeat, dropping his shield preemptively. 
We're gonna have all these snipes coming with the chakra and the dash grab to mix them up. 73, almost, almost unanswered. Players taking taking turns dealing on the damage as he challenges with that fair. So much space is covered by these shotguns as they move so fast. And Chris was trying to back it out of shield numbers for throwing out the, um, the hurricane. But of course, the sword fight is able to low profile file. Ooh, that okay. was interesting. I'm surprised that he didn't get hit by any of the charges. Me too. Might have been a little too late. But not really sure what happened there. Regardless, it's an even game right now. Chris has to make sure he doesn't get hit by those shock crumbs, because if he does, he's going to get knocked off stage. He's taking a little bit more percent. But the back of trading with the tornado. So great awareness from PK Chris, knowing that that was on the table. What I see numbers do a lot is when when he's just standing normal, he's probably gonna throw the chakram at a straight upward angle. But when he jumps at a uh, at that upward angle, but when he's yeah. jumping back, that's when he throws it at the straight angle or jumping at all. So there's been a couple times where he's mixed that up, but that's generally the norm that I have found with these chakram throws. Interesting. And if Chris can somehow tap into that rhythm, that could be really really big for him. But right now, Numbers getting the up air out of the tornado. That is such a menacing option, even though it's big, even though it's like slow moving and reactable. There are just times when all of your other bases are covered, right? And that's just gonna hit you. So, yeah, slow moving projectiles are so dangerous because they, they almost, in a way, they beat out spot dodge since the uh, since they do move so slow. And in, in the case of tornado, it is so big. Yep. Plus. Numbers can move with it. <laughs> so and Chris not fully committing to the down tilt when Numbers teched in place. Even though Chris had the lead, he just quickly ran and dashed back. And as a result, got hurt for it, effectively resetting the neutral in that regard. And right now, like quick, Chris is getting hit with those shot comes over and over. Numbers missing the up air. Oh, careful. Ooh. The S smash coming through and knocking him all the way to the other side of the stage. Missing the tornado, can, uh, missing the tornado after hit of the tornado, just applying a lot of pressure. It's relinquishing stage in order to jump back with Chakra. Another tornado. Hi, Chris, holding on to ledge a little bit too long. He has to remember that that will hit under this age and numbers with the back air, I believe. Yeah. And now numbers has the lead for the first time in the entire set, I believe. And one of the most difficult things in this game is to come back. Uh, against numbers. Numbers holds the stock so well, he will play uber patiently and then capitalize where it counts. So Chris has to do a lot right here to really, really make it back. It's, he's done like 93 on almost nearly unanswered. Yep. <gasps> okay. Yeah, Chris is getting a little bit nervous here right now. Ledge Trap is very, very scary against numbers. Getting hit with those chakra. Chris very smart not to land on top of him. Okay, Great rock nice. back here. That was su super fantastic. Was super tight. Oh, but uh, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't facing. He wasn't facing the right way for that to for that to come through. Falling out of the last hit of the rising forward. Air. This is so dangerous for Chris right now. <gasps> and Chris getting that mix with the flash. And like you see John tap his head because it's like something that you should be aware of at all times. Even though you think like, nah, there's no way that's gonna hit me. The time you think that, that is exactly when the flash will hit you. When they see you not shielding, they will release it, and you will die for it. And that is, it was the perfect time to pull out a, quite, <gasps> that nice bit of a little bit of set double play. jump cancel, PK fire is so dangerous. So smart to shield that. Chris has to be really, really patient in the downer. Not enough to take out the stock quite yet, but Chris has to make it back now. Great air dodge back onto ledge. Numbers once again, like not expecting Chris to go for such an aggressive option at such a high percent. He's leaning, he's relying a lot more on these chocolates now, making sure to making sure that he's reminding PK Chris that you're playing at my pace now. And, and he that falls out of the would have been it, but the back throw is still not enough to take it. And I love that Chris is doing that because that's just like forcing John to retreat. Even though he knows what he's going to do, he still has to respect the option nonetheless. But John, instead of getting the turnaround grab, actually got a dash grab. I do believe that was unintentional. Would that be it? No, no. it is not. <gasps> Unfortunate that the sword fighter's fair sends at such a, like a, pretty much a 45 degree angle. Perfect to, to live and to long yeah. percent with proper and DI. I think he maybe has something, no, not at all. 215. He has to be so careful about these chalk cups. Yeah. yeah, and Chris landed a little too aggressively, and that is going to be the set. That was a little too tense. The fact that Chris was able to almost come back to him that I'm 
I'm a little, I'm a little unsettled that I would not have wanted to be either of those players right now because both of them had so much to lose in those last exchanges. Yeah, a lot of pride on the line when it comes to such a high percent. He was.